hi my loves welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm the coles thank you so much for stopping by watching my video hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe um today we're going to be talking about the elf camo cc cream if you want to see how i was able to do my face and just get my opinion on it and see how it wore for about six to seven hours then keep on watching the elf camo cc cream comes in 20 shades um, it's $14 and I ordered mine off of elf.com. I actually use the app to shop with elf. It's going to be your preference if you want to use the app. Um, and it's supposed to be a color correcting full coverage natural finish product and it has SPF 30. So for those of you that don't use a moisturizer with sunblock there, you got a product that has it for you. In SPF 30, I like that it has SPF 30, not SPF 15. Because I feel like SPF 30 is like the minimum that moisturizers or even foundation should have to give you some really good sunblock protection. Um, it's saying that it's going to be a natural finish, so I'm excited about that because I really can't wait to see how it applies and how it feels on the skin and also how it wears. We are going to do about a six-hour wear test. It's currently 440, so we're going to like <laughs> speed this up and get this on my skin so we can get started. Um, what else does it say? Let me just kind of run through the details that it says about this product on the app. Um, it's infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients to improve the skin texture and tone. Um, and it also said that the shade match that they offer on their website will guarantee that you get the best shade option. I had a different experience when I was using the shade match. It was just it just kept saying it couldn't find a match for me. I kind of had to eyeball it, so I'm not 100% sure if the shade I got is the correct shade. But the shade I did get was Rich 620W, and on the box when you purchase it, it lets you know like that W stands for a warm golden undertone. Now, I'm gonna start applying it on my skin, but I am gonna say this: I do feel like this is not the right shade. Simply because every time I buy foundation, I typically go, you know, for the deep uh, category. I never go into the rich deep category. This time I went into the rich deep category because um, in their deep category, they did have a deep warm. But looking at it on the model, I felt like it was just a little too light for me. And I, and I could have been wrong because I was just eyeballing based off the picture. Um, but that's just really how I felt about it. So I decided to go darker. Um, so I kind of feel like this might be a little red. It might not be the match, the right match for me, but that's what this review is for. Like this review is just as much for me as it is for you guys. You know what I mean? Like it gives me a chance to see what the product is about and to see if I like it or not. And I'm purposely like doing half my face so you can see the difference. You see that? Like you see... <laughs> Like you can see how like golden all right here is, and then when you come to this side, it's more it's more of like a reddish, a reddish tan looking brown. So are my hands ashy? Like, come on, I cannot be on camera with ashy hands. Okay, no, they're fine. <laughs> but like, I'm not mad at the shade. I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of upset that they only have 20 shades because at this point, I don't care if it's a CC cream, a BB cream. I feel like it needs to be 30 minimum, period. Okay, but this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna blend this side out very quickly. Um, a tip they gave when I was reading about the product, they said to focus it on the areas that you need color correcting because it does have built-in color correcting. So um, around my mouth is typically where I color correct a lot when I need to color correct and under my eye. Those are like my trouble areas for color correcting. So I don't know. For me, the issue I'm having is I know that it doesn't make sense to have this issue is a lot of the other foundations I use, I feel like they have such a blurring effect and this one doesn't. So I'm not enjoying the wear of it because it doesn't have like that blurring effect. You know what I mean? Like it's really like settling into my skin and like some of the imperfections I wish it would just kind of blur. It's not blurring. So but then again, it's a CC cream. I'm sh I shouldn't have that standard for it. But I've just been spoiled. You know what I mean? Like, mm, I don't know. Um, but let's jump into the other two products that I did get from them that I said we were going to talk about. So the first one is the mascara by them. This is the um, Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara by e.l.f. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, I don't like it. I think it just looks... I don't know. I just don't like the way the, uh, the packaging for it looks. So I'm going to apply two coats and just see what that looks like on. 
All right, so this is my eye with mascara and this is my eye without. It does make a difference. Um, it does intensify my lashes. Um, it's supposed to be a volumizing uh, mascara, so I'm going to go in now with a second coat of mascara on the same lash. And I just want to see if it makes it look like fuller and just bigger and more volumizing. I think it does a really good job of just making my lashes pop. <laughs> like, um, I feel like I've used different mascaras that have said it's volumizing. And I feel like those mascaras make my lashes look longer. I don't feel like this one has made my lashes look longer. I just think it's darkened them and just made them more apparent. You know what I mean? Because that's just how I feel. Like, okay. My eyes are present. All right. We're now going to jump into the putty blush. Again, I got it in the shade Bahamas, I did order the um the brush that they released for this blush. Um, I'm just going to kind of warm the brush into the product, just swirl it around a little bit. Um, I'm a little nervous as to pigmentation, and I'm praying that I do get pigmentation. <laughs> All right. Okay, you see a little bit of pigment. It's very subtle. Like, you can see it, but it's very, very subtle. And I mean, I am swirling this in here. Like, I feel like I should be getting more pigment based off the amount of product that I feel like I'm swirling onto this brush. Um, I wouldn't consider this a dupe for the Fenty because I feel like even though the Fenty one is sheer, you still do get pigmentation, if I'm being honest with you. Like, this might just be a little too sheer for me. Um, I think this is the perfect blush for the girls that, you know, like that no makeup makeup look. Like you want to just look like I just woke up. I didn't put anything on and I'm perfect. This is perfect for you. Um, I'm not that girl. Um, I like for you to see blush a mile away. Okay. You need to see the blush on my face a town away. Don't play. Okay. So this product isn't for me and my makeup language. Like I always talk to you guys about makeup language and I would say like, Definitely do what suits your makeup language, which you love. So a blush this subtle wouldn't be for me. It's just not what I expected. But I do feel like if your complexion is lighter, you'll, you'll see the pigmentation a lot better. You guys know how the game goes. You know what I mean? Like if you're more fair skin, you're going to like, you know, the pigment is going to be there. Point blank period. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. But this is what I look like. You can see some of it. I'm not mad. It is what it is, you know. All right, I'm a little annoyed because I really wanted this blush to work, but it is what it is. I just kind of want to give you guys a rundown of all the products that I use on my face. Now, to set my highlighted area, I use the Sasha Cosmetics Powder in the shade Buttercup. I believe this is the name of the shade because I couldn't find anything else underneath. Um, to set my entire face, I use the One Size Setting Powder by Patrick Star, and this is in the shade Dark Deep. Um, after setting my face with those powders, my face did feel a little tight. So I went in with the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist setting, uh, setting spray. I love to use this, um, in the middle of my makeup or when I apply powders. If I feel like my skin is feeling a little too tight, I'll apply this and it just hits me with the right amount of moisture. Plus it smells so good. Look, I love the way this, um, setting spray smells. To bronze, I use my Morphe bronzer in the shade Leader. The crazy thing is, I keep saying I don't like this bronzer, but then I keep using it. It's just I feel like lately I've been needing more of a subtle bronzer, and I feel like this bronzer is very subtle. So that is why I keep gravitating towards it. For my lips, I use a Morphe liner. The shade is Vibes. And then the color that you guys see on my lips, I use the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Gloss. You guys know... Um, I always talk about these. I haven't talked about them in a minute, but these happen to be one of my favorite drugstore glosses you can get. They're so pigmented, and this is only $2, and look. Look at this pigment. I literally paid $2 for this. Um, does it have a shade name? Yep, and the shade is called Catwalk. So just wish my face some luck right now because, um, yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right, y'all. It has been six hours, and it's currently... 1033. Um, I went out with this face. I wore a mask with this face. I went out to dinner um, and I was just out and about doing my thing. And this is what my face is looking like. So I don't feel like I look really bad for about six hours wear of makeup. 
um, especially since I really didn't do a lot to make sure my makeup did not move. I was very just like neutral with it. Like I'm going to do the basics just to see how this uh, camo CC cream um, foundation wears. And what I will say is I, I, I feel like my skin does not look bad. Like it doesn't look bad. The only thing that is gone is just um, my lips because of obviously because of wearing the mask it comes off. But other than that, like, this doesn't look bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just kind of need to do a little bit of a touch-up, and I'm good to go. So my primer and the powders, they definitely did a great job of keeping my face on and together. Okay, the blush, the putty blush, I feel like it's completely gone. I don't see it on my face anymore. And I said it earlier, I was like, I want to see how much of the blush remains by the end of the night. So this blush is very, very sheer. You do have to add a couple of layers. And I guess throughout the day, if you decide to wear it for however long, it will, you know, kind of fade. Like you can see hints of it, but for the most part, it's basically gone, especially since earlier it was barely there to begin with. Um, so would I purchase the putty um, blush again? The answer is no. I wouldn't buy any of the other colors. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just no. For me, it's a no. Um, for the eyes, I did the mascara, and I think my eyes look beautiful. I love the way my lashes look. Do I think it's volumizing, where I feel like it gives me so much volume? The answer is no. But do I think it does a decent job of just making my lashes pop and be present? I'm going to say yes. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like it did anything special, like, where it made my lashes look like they're elongated, like they're volumes, like they're big. I just feel like it just defined my natural lashes. By making them darker with the black mascara and that's that now the camel cc cream i i'm torn i'm torn because i feel like it's promoted as being color correcting and i don't feel like it did much color correcting for me i feel like around my mouth area looks really just kind of dark and color correcting should have balanced that out for me but the reason why i'm also not you know gonna be as hard on it as I, as I would want to be is because I also don't feel like I got the correct shade I feel like if I got the correct shade from my complexion maybe the color corrected would have been more on point um would I recommend this for $14 I think it is a good product like I'm not gonna say it's the best out there but for $14 it has good coverage it's still on my face like my like it did not break up on my face it's still there and you can make it work um, so depending on your lifestyle and if you're into these type of products, I would say go for it. It's affordable, it's drugstore, and e.l.f. does tend to really produce decent products. Like, I can never take that away from e.l.f. They have some of my favorite products on the market right now. So, um, I would recommend it. Um, normally, I would touch up half my face. I'll do that lightly right here. But I really just don't necessarily feel like it's necessary because I don't feel like I look you know, that oily, if I'm being honest with you. I just don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I do. Like, the um the two powders that I did use to set my face, I feel like they did a really good job of just, you know, keeping me matte. So this side, I did not go over it a little bit, and then this side I did. So the difference is very subtle. This side just looks like, you know, like my oils were starting to seep through, like I have a little bit of a glow, and this side I'm just completely matte again. All right, my loves, that wraps it up for me. I will see you guys in my next upload. If you have not already subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have tried any of these e.l.f. products. Give me your feedback. If you have tried the e.l.f. Putty Blush, let me know um, if it worked for you, if it was more pigmented on you. So comment down below and let me know the tea let me know what you think what you don't like what you do like and um i will see you guys next time as always love first Mwah. bye my babies